know, you already save a lot of money every year thanks to our videos. So save on car parts too. Buy them on the Mr. Auto app. Shipping is free. Turn off the ignition. Pull up the handbrake. Pull on the bonnet release lever and open the bonnet. Open the brake fluid reservoir. In order to change the brake discs and brake pads on your vehicle, you will have to raise the front of your car and take off the wheels. This will provide you with full access to the brake discs. Loosen the stud bolts on the front wheels. Raise the front of the vehicle. And put it into axle stands. We strongly suggest watching the tutorial, raising your vehicle safely before carrying out this step. You will then be able to take off the wheels. Don't forget to slide them under the vehicle. Insert a flathead screwdriver to the outer extremity of the oblong hole located on the front of the brake caliper. Lift it off using the screwdriver as a lever by pulling it towards you. This will then push the piston in. Don't hesitate to push the screwdriver further in once the space between the pad and the caliper allows. Ensure that you have pushed the piston in as far as possible before moving on to the next operation. Using a flathead screwdriver, lift the halting spring on the pads, then take it out. Make sure you keep a finger on the spring during the operation to avoid it jumping out. Using a thin flathead screwdriver, remove the caps covering the caliper mounting bolt. Using a socket wrench, a socket bit and a 7mm allen bit under the two caliper mounting bolts. To save time, finish removing the caliper mounting bolt by hand as soon as it's possible. Remove the caliper. You can now remove the pads. Tip. Attach a piece of electrical cable or a piece of string to one of the coils on the suspension spring. To avoid damaging the brake hose, attach it to the suspension using the cable you have already attached. To unblock the disc, insert a thin flathead screwdriver that can slip in between the two sides of the disc. You have to insert it in front of the brake caliper mount so that it butts up against the latter. Using a 30mm torque socket, undo the two screws that hold the disc. Withdraw the screwdriver. Depending on the state of the nuts of the brake caliper mount, it may be necessary to use a hammer to loosen them. Using a T-handle and an 80mm socket, loosen the first two screws that fasten the brake caliper mount. Finish removing the disc holding screws and take the disc off. Sometimes the disc may get stuck on the hub. If this happens, use a hammer to remove it. You have to clean the hub with a wire brush. Coated with copper grease, this will help avoid deterioration caused by oxidation and aid with future interventions. Before installing the new disc, it is vital to clean it using brake cleaner and paper towels to take off the storage paraffin. If your new disc is painted, you can place it directly under the wheel hub. 
replace the new disc onto the hub and rescrew the two fastening screws by hand as much as possible using a 30mm torque socket. Put the brake caliper mount back on, screwing by hand to begin with. and finish with a socket wrench and an 80mm socket to fix it completely. Reuse the screwdriver technique to stop the rotation of the disc. This will allow you to fully tighten the fastening screws of said disc. Using a wire brush, clean the brake caliper mount around the area where the pads will be placed. This will facilitate their installation. Remove the brake caliper. Coat the outside of the new pads with copper grease. Then put the pad in place on the piston side of the brake caliper and then the other in the brake caliper mount. Put the brake caliper in place on the brake caliper mount, pushing it in as far as possible. Push the two caliper mounting bolts against the brake caliper mount, ensuring that they're completely in front of the fastening holes. Then, screw them in using a socket wrench, ensuring that you fix them fully in place. Put the caps back in place, clipping them in as you do so. To put the brake pad holding springs in place, start by inserting the springs into the designated hole at the bottom of the brake caliper. Then, using a screwdriver, since it's not always easy by hand, bring the upper part of the spring as close as possible to the upper hole on the brake caliper. Then, place your thumb in the middle of the spring and apply pressure on it, pushing the spring forward. This will make it easier to bring the spring to its final position. If it doesn't go all the way in, use a small hammer and hit it lightly to force the two ends of the spring correctly into place. You can now repeat the operation on the other side. Put the wheels of your vehicle back on. And lower it to the ground. Before starting your car, don't forget to screw the brake fluid stopper back in. Be careful, before using your vehicle again, start your car and pump the brake pedal a few times to bring the brake pads together again. Try to drive smoothly and avoid sudden braking for the first 50 kilometers or so to avoid glazing the new pads. Operation completed.